Hey guys, today we're gonna be working on an orchard on my Forever Island Honeyland. Let's get going. If you're new here, welcome. My name is April Honey and I make cozy content here on my side of the internet. I play mostly Animal Crossing. I am gonna be adding in some paleo decorating videos. Probably not too much in the way of gameplay since I don't keep track of questing and all of those things. But anyways, you're here for Animal Crossing and we're making an orchard on my forever island. As I said, we're going to be trying to make it a very functional orchard. So I did make it linear. I put two spaces between each tree so that I could see everything. And I have this idea that I wanted to string party lights across the trees. So I left three spaces on the side between each tree so that you could um, still get the fruit to fall in the front of it and still make it very functional. I need it to be functional because I am trying to complete all of the Nook Miles goals on this island and one of them is to sell fruit and I just thought that the party light arches one are super super cute and I always love seeing them in orchards and two to make it the most function possible if I left it so that you can exactly fit them between the trees then all of the fruit will fall in the front and it will look a little bit like that and I just love the way that looks now I'm putting custom codes in front of the trees because I need the nothing to spawn I just don't want anything to spawn in those spaces. Now around it, I really don't care, but those are the spaces that the fruit are gonna take up and I wanna make sure that those spaces in particular are available. Along the back, I'm gonna put some cozy farm items, which I love the windmills. I'm going to of course use trees and silos and just make it very cozy and fun. I am using flowers in the orchard, which I know isn't the most practical thing in the world to use, but um, I'm not the most practical of decorators to be fair. So, you know, we're using the things that I enjoy the most. So I always put custom designs underneath the items and I don't know why, I, I'm pretty sure Froggy Crossing trained me in some way when she was making Pelican Town way back in the days. And so I got in the habit of putting custom designs underneath, even if it's just grass, to make the ground underneath look a little bit textured, to zhuzh it up, as she would like to say. And I do like to do that as well. I'm gonna put a little seating area right next to this waterfall right here, because right next to this is going to be a sunken pathway. And um, I wanna make sure that I'm kind of fitting everything in together. So it's not really a, a practical seating area, but it looks kind of cute and that's all that mattered. Now, if you're wondering about the changing outfits, those are courtesy of our very own Fashion King. He likes to redeem the outfit change in a uh, stream. And I started this in stream. And so <laughs> that was what happened. We finished the outfit. Well, we finished off in this outfit, which uh, was made for us by the King of Fashion. And I'm not going to say anything about his fashion decisions. Right here, I'm going to put a little path to make it seem like you can actually walk over here. We all know you can't. We do. But it, it's just a nice thought, right? And our little gyroid friend. I love the gyroids. I don't use them too much, or I haven't used them too much so far on this island. And I do want to use more of them because I collected like 9 million of them, it feels like. So we, I will test this orchard out at the very end just to make sure that it works and everything. Um, and we're just making sure that all of the custom code slots that I don't want to be filled are going to be empty. So, or the spots in the dirt are going to be empty that I want to be empty. I'm sprinkling in between clear and little custom design paths, like little sprinkles. If you want to know how to make those sprinkles, I do have a tutorial on my channel in the custom codes um, playlist. I do know English, the custom codes a playlist, and you're more than welcome to take a look at that. I do share a lot of the screenshots of my codes. I've been lately, if you're looking at the more recent ones, I have been starting to share them on, um, on the video description 
and putting a Google, like a link to a Google um, document that will kind of give you all of the pixels. Basically, it's a little PDF file that I made. And uh, sorry about the notifications up on the screen. I don't know. I do love this build though. I love the way it came out at the end. And we're just, we're actually, we went through it really fast. So it was a lot of fun to make. Hopefully you guys like it at the end. Okay, so we're just gonna place the rest of the plain party light arches. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what's going on in my world. So as you guys heard, I have some big life changes coming up. So I'm going to be moving. My kids are out of school for summer. I have always been pretty open about having children and they are out of school for the summer. It makes it a little bit harder for me to actually record and get voiceovers done because uh, kids are loud <laughs> and I don't want to stop them from being children. So I want to have them enjoy their summer. And in order to do that, um, you know, I have to put off a little bit of recording. Next summer, I'm going to be a little better prepared for this. Last summer, it wasn't a problem because my six-year-old wasn't in school yet. So they didn't seem to fight as much back then. But ever since my six-year-old started kindergarten, they seem to be um pretty much they love each other and then they're at each other's throats so it makes it a little bit harder to record while they're you know together throughout the day and doing the boy thing so instead i will be streaming five days a week if you're interested in hanging out with me on stream and i'll be putting out more shorts and i'll put out a video at least every other week i will try to do it more often than that but that'll be up to whether or not my life kind of allows me to do it. See, recording is not the problem. It's the voiceovers that are the problem. Right now I'm doing this and it's 11 o'clock at night right now. So it definitely, I have to get creative about when I'm doing voiceovers here, but hopefully you guys are doing amazing. I am having a really good time with my kiddos and it has been fun with them out for the summer. We're putting custom codes around everything that I planted because I don't want them multiplying. So we are making sure that the ground is covered with custom codes around and I'm just using the clear pixel which is really easy. And if I ever decide to flatten or restart or redecorate this island, they're really easy to delete because all you actually have to do is fill it in with a color and you'll see everywhere that it is on your island. And it makes it really easy to get rid of. And then otherwise, I'm just putting little things all over the place around the front and the side and kind of making it spawn. Of course, there was a balloon and I had to go and get it. If you want to know what's in it, I probably haven't opened it yet. In all fairness, I have this best friend named Laura and she really, really needed all of the balloons to be popped. I never used to actually pop them, but then she would be like, balloon, balloon. So I got in the habit of popping them. The problem is, is that I did not get in the habit of opening them because she didn't really care if I opened it or not, as long as I popped it. So I took that and um, yeah, so we don't, <laughs> we don't actually open them. I open them whenever it's redeemed for me to open them on stream. And I just kind of leave them around my island as a way to not have any of those um, ugly white flowers show up on my island. I don't love them, so I try to prevent them from being spawned on my island. And then we put a little reading area right here because I just thought that would be really cute inside of an orchard, right? It's just a cute little thing to have next to an orchard. I think if I lived near an orchard that I would want to go read as well. I do love to read, so I really love making little reading nooks and things like that. If you like reading, let me know what you're reading. What are you enjoying right now? Personally, for me right now, my reading journey just looks like a bunch of self-help books, which isn't the worst thing ever, right? We all could stand to improve ourselves in some way, shape, or form. I was not loving the way that tree was sitting. I wanted it to be over just a little bit more, so I decided to put it right over just over to the side a little bit more. I just think it looks a lot better over there, not covering up anything. We want our cool drink to be in view, you know? And then over here, I think I wanted to put a much lamp over here 
or a street lamp. We did end up going with a street lamp. And then of course bushes and flowers because I mean this whole island is just filled with bushes and flowers. Then we're going to extend the cliff out and just see what we can do in this area in the front. I do kind of like making this area look very filled out around the actual orchard to kind of give the feeling that it is more full than it is. Now this is not the most full like kind of orchard that there is because of the way I situated the trees but it gives the illusion of being full when I place all of the stuff around it and I think that it ends up looking really good at the end. So I do have a little confession to make about this island. I came into this island saying that I did not want it to be laggy. I wasn't going to fill every single space. And that's what I do on every island. I am definitely a clutter core queen when it comes down to it. And I swore I was not gonna do it this time. And then I turned around and did exactly what I said I wasn't gonna do. Everywhere I've decorated on this island is completely full and it pretty much follows my same pattern of decorating that I've always done and then I realized old habits are just gonna die a little bit hard for me. There's no way I'm going to be able to get through an entire island without cluttering it up. It's just not me, it's not in my DNA. So we're just gonna accept ourselves and we're gonna live with it, you know? I feel like it's just time for me to accept the fact that I'm always going to be a little bit clutter core and it's totally fine, it's just gonna be what I do. You know, I there's always there always comes that point in time where you have to accept yourself. So I set down this orange bike, but I don't think I like it, so I'm going to end up going and changing out the color of it. And of course, we need a little garden thingy mabobber right there. The wagon, you know, it's it's a wagon. I yeah. I know. I know. These things all have names. And then I decided I didn't like the flowers that I placed down. I kind of wanted to use a fence. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're almost done with this build. Hopefully you like it. I really enjoyed making it. I had such a great time. I always have a great time building with friends on stream and then continuing the builds afterwards. Of course, my look has changed. I had to go to the Able Sisters in the middle of this build and change my look again um, for stream so hopefully you guys enjoyed this look a little bit better than the last one another person had redreamed the outfit change because they didn't approve of the one before this but we're done and i feel like it looks very functional and it looks so cute everything's all grown in now and i really love the way it came out it's super fun and functional and very cozy. This whole island is very cozy core, which is pretty much what I wanted it to be. It is my home island, so I'm enjoying this island so, so much. There is a dream address for it already, and as I progress through the island, I am updating the dream address regularly. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will put that down in the description below. As always, thank you so much for being here with me. I know you could be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit and I appreciate you so much for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.